Hello all, welcome back. In the previous video of Java collection, we talked about how to add the object in a collection and how to remove the object from collection and how to get the length of the collection. Now in this video, I will show you how to search for the particular object in a collection and how to clear all the members of the collection and how to check for the collection is empty or not. So let's do the same thing practically here in collection you can use the function like contains it is used to search the object from the collection here you can pass object it will search into the collection and if it is found then it will return true for example let me write here that is system dot out dot print line and let me write here c dot contains and i want to search for atmiya university is Atmiya is available over here? If yes, then I want to print here. Then I'm writing here Atmiya University. And if it is found, then it will return true. If it is not found, then it will return false. You can save this. Now here you can compile your code and you can run this. See here, Atmiya University is found in this collection. Now let me remove this. So I'm simply remove here, that is a C dot remove and I'm removing the Atmiya University from this collection. And now I want to search again, is this available in this collection? You can save this. Now you can compile your program again and you can run this. See here, Atmiya University is available. But after that, I removed the Atmi University from this collection, so it is not available. So it says that it is false. Even if you are getting the size, then it will be decreased by one element. Even if you get the collection, then it will be changed also. For example, let me print here so you people can get the better idea that you can get the size and element anytime. You can save this. You can compile your code and you can run this. See here. Atmi University was available over here, but after that it is removed. So total number of element is four and Atmi University is now not found in this collection. So here we can say that we can search the object, we can add the object, we can remove the object and we can get the size of the object also. Now I want to check what is my collection is empty. So there is a one function that is is empty, which returns boolean value true or false. It returns true if your collection is empty and it returns false if your collection is not empty. And there is a one function clear, which is used to clear the collection, right? So there are two functions. One is the clear and another one is is empty. So let me use both the function over here. Let me write here that is System dot out dot print line and I'm writing here C dot is empty. Is my collection is empty right now? No. If you compile this particular program and if you run this, then you will get that the collection is not empty. It is false. But suppose if you are writing here C dot clear and if you are running the same statement again, then you will get that your collection is empty. You can save this. You can compile and run your code. You will get here collection is not empty before clear, but after clear my collection is empty. Now, if you are printing the collection, then it will simply display the square bracket. You can simply compile and run. You will get here that this collection is empty, right? So all the data in the collection is clear using the clear function and is empty is the function which is used to check is my collection is currently empty or not. So you can say that these are the six function that is the basic operation of collection. Now there is a one more function which is used to retrieve each and every element one by one from the collection and that you can do using the function that is iterator. So that's it from my side. In the next video we will talk about iterator in Java collection. So if you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice trip.